Back. Concern over retired school administrators working back in the Richmond public school system prompted a CBS 6 investigation. We found retirees eligible to collect a pension now making big paychecks as temporary administrators. Katie Beck has been uncovering the facts and investigates in this special report. Well, school insiders brought us the questions. Is it a fair practice and is it the best use of taxpayer dollars for a school district facing a massive deficit? We asked the school officials those very questions. Retirement for most working adults oh is worth celebrating. It's the end of an era, closing the final chapter of a career. For public school employees, the rewards of retiring come in the form of a government pension. In Virginia, retirees are eligible to get paid just over half of their final salary for the rest of their lives. But across the city of Richmond, concern is being raised about retired administrators in the public school system, coming back to work, earning hefty wages while collecting a pension at the same time. It can be done on legal grounds, but is it good government? They could all stop it if they wanted to blow the whistle, but they're not willing to blow the whistle. Education advocate Paul Goldman has heard of the practice. It seems like nobody wants to stop it, and it has to be stopped. Based on information from school insiders, CBS 6 News requested documents from the Richmond School District about retirees working back in the system. A pattern became clear. We found that several retired administrators came back to earn a six-figure rate of pay. They're classified as temporary employees. The retirees are not meant to stay on. They're here to help. They're here so, on a temporary basis. On a temporary basis, absolutely. But we found retirees who'd been back in the system for years, working in different temporary positions and earning hundreds of thousands of dollars after retiring. It just paints the entire system with uh, the wrong way. The case that caught our attention first involved the current chief of staff for RPS. Over the past three years and seven months, this retiree has earned nearly $400,000 as a temporary employee. His most recent employment contract is 11 months long. He's classified as temporary, and we wonder how that is. It's clearly not a temporary position. Well, I really can't speak to that because I'm not sure exactly how many hours or how, what percentage of the position um, that particular person is, is working. When you look at an org chart, it says superintendent, mm -hmm. chief of staff right underneath. Mm -hmm. He has an office here. He has a parking spot at City Hall. Mm -hmm. it, it just, it, it's not perplexing to you how that can be and still be classified as a temporary part-time employee. It is not a matter of the office space. It's not a matter of having parking. It's a matter of how many hours or days that person is working. So as I said, I cannot I can't address that. The Virginia retirement system says it is about the hours. Legally to work back in the system, retirees must be part time, working less than 80% of the hours that a full time employee would work in a year. The person would not be in a position to collect a retirement benefit and serve in a full time capacity. The Richmond School District says retirees are meant to bridge a gap. We found retired principals serving as interim principals, some making sizable paychecks for just a little over two months work. Others held different temp jobs for several years. One collected close to a half a million dollars in income while in retirement. There have been other people that have been retired for six months and come back into the system and are making exactly the same rate of pay that they did when they were a principal or they were an assistant principal. Our use of retirees we've based on of course continuing the continuity of a, of a office, um, of a school, which is very critical when we talk about student achievement. This was just bridging a gap. Mm -hmm. You know, why am I looking at someone's pay rate over the past seven years? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's there's people that well, have been who's, who's filling uh, maybe, and I I don't filling gaps I don't know for what you're years. right. Well, filling different needs. It's only so much you can cut. City Councilman Charles Samuels is questioning that philosophy. Temporary positions are just that temporary. 
we got a million dollars less in state revenue. Especially after RPS has been trying desperately to cut the budget for weeks. It fluctuates. To fix a $24 million deficit. Samuel says he'd rather see cuts at the top than from the classroom. When you're doing something like this, if you are knowingly doing it, you're doing wrong. School officials were quick to point out that bringing retirees back into the workforce is a common practice in school districts across the country. In fact, nothing that we found could be proven illegal. But questions over fairness and careful spending remain. You allowing these other abusive double dip practices. I think certain people would view this practice as double dipping. I think certain people would see this as taking a pension and taking a salary at the same time. I've already told you how, how we see it. While the district doesn't see it that way, they tell us the superintendent is looking into it. We are indeed reviewing our practices and our procedures when it comes to how we use retirees. Samuel says a review is well overdue. I'm angered. I'm frustrated. I'm downright mad. Now, we requested an interview with Superintendent Dr. Yvonne Brandon for the story, but we're told she was too busy dealing with the school's budget decisions. Several attempts to also speak with the RPS chief of staff went unreturned. We asked for a list of all retirees working in the Richmond public school system, and today we were provided a list of 332 names. Using the RPS online employee database, we estimate that 15% of the RPS workforce are retirees. Bill? Thank you, Katie. And you can find this entire investigation online with some web extras at WTVR.com. Make sure to share this story as well. CBS 6.